Hey everyone, this is a long overdue request. I think the reason why it took me so long to do it was because it wasn't an easy uh, comparison video to do. Uh, this video is all about comparing the e.l.f. mineral booster and the e.l.f. HD powder. The reason why this comparison was really difficult to do, I think, is because I personally believe that they do uh, separate functions. I really don't think that they're meant to do the same thing, and I'll tell you why. Overall, I prefer the e.l.f. Mineral Booster, as I've been mentioning over and over again. First of all, when it comes to packaging, I really, really, really prefer the e.l.f. Mineral Booster over the HD powder. The e.l.f. Mineral Booster comes in just your standard uh, sifter, uh, twist top container. This one is in 0.63 ounces and it's very easy to use. All you have to do is just put a little bit of product in the lid, take your kabuki brush or powder brush, swirl it and then apply. Easy. I don't find it particularly messy. Unlike this one here, this is only 0.28 ounces. So this packaging from the outside looks very sleek, very attractive, but the um, silica powder is so fine, it really gets everywhere. It's very, very hard to use this product without it falling all over the place. You can see there's product all over the edges, and you have to be really, really careful with this product. It comes with a poof, but uh, I don't recommend using the poof because you can't really control how much product you're dispensing and it doesn't really uh, apply the product exactly where you want it. But I need to use the poof to block the sifter holes here to prevent the powder from going everywhere. At one point I took this uh, poof off and, and just left it off and every time I opened this it would just kind of explode. How I apply this actually is I put the poof on top and then I shake it a little bit to get some of the product on the poof and then with the product that comes off on the poof I use a uh, kabuki brush or powder brush and take the product off from here. You really don't want to use a lot with this product. The main ingredient to the HD powder is silica. Silica is a very fine fine uh, spherical particle. It's so small that the whole idea of using uh, an HD powder, most commonly it's used for under the eyes for people who have fine lines. I am 26, I'm going to be 27 in about 4 months, and I am at that age where I am getting some fine lines right around the eyes, or my smile lines. But with these small particles is that it's going to fill in the lines and just diffuse your skin so it looks almost airbrushed. It's going to blur out the lines on your face basically. The e.l.f. mineral booster on the other hand, uh, the main ingredients are... Okay, there's cornstarch. Cornstarch is often used as a filler in cosmetics. Uh, there's a lot of controversy over whether that's uh, good for acne prone skin because it's like an, or an organic material, it is more likely to contain bacteria and make acne prone skin worse. But I have actually had not had a problem with uh, acne with this, and I believe that's because my acne is mostly hormonal and it has nothing to do with bacteria, bacteria really. Um, then the next ingredient is mica, which is a mineral. And then zinc stearate, magnesium stearate, which are um, uh, powders that help it adhere to your skin and it improves slip. Um, and then the next product is silica. So you're actually getting silica as well in this. So the fine amount of silica you get in the mineral booster is still going to do the same effect. It will still um, go into your fine lines. And then it's got a bunch of other things. There's sodium dehydroacetate. I don't really know what that is. 
Then there's vitamin E, vitamin A, and vitamin B, and vitamin C. It also says it may contain iron oxides and manganese violets, which is why you see the coloring you do. This product claims to be sheer, which it is on me. So this is what it looks like. I'm going to take some of my finger. This is a concentrated amount on my finger here. I'm going to just transfer it onto my other finger. So you actually have the light there. So doing a swatch on my dry hand. I'm going to swatch it there and just rub it off, rip, rub it onto my skin. And as you see, it's completely disappeared and it still looks like my skin. It's come, it's very, very soft. Um, there's no sparkle, no sheen, nothing. So on my skin, it's very, very translucent. Um, it doesn't come up with its color. I've heard some people complain that it actually changes the color of their skin, but I haven't had that experience myself, so I can't really talk about that. Now, there's the HD powder. So I'm going to do the same swatch. So I'm going to just rub my hand and hopefully most of that elf powder is gone. And sorry if my hand looks disgusting. I, it's got all, a lot of scar tissue from my car accident. It's hard to get this in a concentrated form on my finger because the product is so finely milled that it won't even look like anything. So here's the silica concentrated form on my finger. And then I'm going to put it on my hand so you see the powder and I'm going to rub it in and it disappeared. So both of them, in theory, <laughs> at least on me, is supposed to go on completely transparent. Now why do I like the e.l.f. booster more? Because I find that the HD powder is uh, has a very specific use. It's something that the e.l.f. mineral booster could also do. So I feel that you're getting more bang for your buck with the e.l.f. booster because you're getting more product and it actually has properties that are supposed to help your skin with all those vitamins. While this is just silica and this also has silica in it. So it's still going to fill in those fine lines. But the reason why I don't like this as much it's because I have used it as a uh, all over face setting powder but it does not have oil controlled properties so very quickly my uh, t-zone my forehead would get really shiny and oily and the mineral booster on the other, other hand is a great setting powder because it really did control the oil really well and I didn't break up from either of these Another problem I have with this, because it doesn't control oil, I don't want to use it on my whole face. Instead, I'm going to use what it's really good for, which is to fill in the fine lines because of its fine, finely milled nature. But then when I did use it on my, I would, you know, put my under eye concealer and then I would use this as a setting powder. And yes, it did diffuse the fine lines, but I have very dry skin around my eyes. And if, especially in the winter time, if you have dry skin in any way, I found that the HD powder actually accentuated the dryness. It actually kind of turned the dry, flaky areas uh, whitish, even though it's supposed to be translucent, while the e.l.f. Mineral Booster does not do that to me. And this is, I believe, $6, maybe wrong. And this, the large size is $8, but you're getting, again, you're getting 0.63 ounces here, and you're only getting uh, 0.28 here. So take that into consideration. So overall, I uh, love the Mineral Booster. I'm still crazy about it. Even though it's cornstarch, I don't mind. Like, I mean, the cornstarch, the filler did not uh, do anything bad to my skin. It controls oil a lot better. It still fills in the fine lines. I just think this is a great setting powder overall. While this has a very limited use and it accentuated dry skin, 
and it's not very cheap. But then again, what's great about this is that it's almost the same thing as the Makeup Forever HD powder. So if you're contemplating on buying that, why don't you save yourself 30 bucks or more and and go for the e.l.f. Uh, high definition powder. There's that whole whole scandal on um, the HD Makeup Forever powder. Like celebrities have been photographed with like the really white cast underneath. And because the HD powder from e.l.f. Um, has other properties to it besides 100% silica, uh, it didn't actually have that reflective property. So this might be actually better than the Makeup Forever um, product. And lastly, again, if you're thinking about the Makeup Forever product, you can go to any uh, makeup, um, like cosmetic bulk ingredients website, like for instance tkbtrading.com, there's others, and they sell 100% silica there too, for very, very cheap. On TKB Trading, you can get one ounce, one full ounce, in a plastic bag. You don't get a fancy package. But, I mean, if I use this up, I could always put it in here. Or you could always just buy a container or do whatever. Like, containers aren't expensive. But you get a full ounce for, I believe, it's like $4. So that's even cheaper. That's like twice as cheap as this and, and $2 cheaper than this. You're getting way more product for 4 bucks. Just do the math in your mind and think about what they're made of and that's the purpose that you'll get out of it. So if you're looking for oil control, I'd say go for this. It will still fill in your fine lines. It's a great setting powder. It's still gonna give you a great glow. All this, if you have a lot of fine lines, maybe you want to do this. So I hope you enjoyed my review slash comparison video. Um, if you have any more requests, please let me know. As an update, I put it in order for Etude House products from Korea. So I think I ordered about five things. So expect a haul slash review on those. So I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.